Hi guys, happy Wednesday. Today is one of those really rare days when the whole day is really like kind of cold and gray and gross. And then as soon as it's time for you to get out of school, it gets warm and sunny and gorgeous. And the reason I'm not looking at my camera right now is because I'm looking out the window and it looks really nice. And I'm gonna make this video short so I can go outside. Today is March 30th and Rather similarly to last year on March 30th, as I recall, I was waiting anxiously for news of something. Last time it was, hey, those CBYX people, they should have been in touch with me like two weeks ago. And this time it's like, hey, the last like five uh, college decisions are supposed to be coming out today and I'm on the wrong continent so I have to wait until like the dead of night to find out and I don't know what I'm going to do with the next nine hours of my life. That's a lie. I know what I'm going to do with at least some of them because I have homework, scholarship applications to write, but nerve-wracking. I didn't make a video last week. Let's see, in the last two weeks I've been like going to school, going to more school, sort of like what I normally do. An exciting thing that happened was I went to Frankfurt. One of my exchange student friends lives in Frankfurt. I never hang out with other exchange students and I only speak English pretty much like when I'm doing my video blogs. And normally I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to speak English. I'm going to destroy my German if I speak English for 10 minutes. But it's not actually true. Um, and it was actually a really nice break for my brain to be able to speak Denglish all weekend without anyone getting confused. It's a very confusing language, Denglish. We spent a lot of time in Frankfurt shopping because it's... I don't know, that's what you do when you go to a big city when you're a teenager. What can I say? Um, I didn't really buy very much, except this flea market we went to. I picked up some pretty neat stuff, like this book. The Dativ ist dem Genitiv sein Tod. And it's like all about German grammar. <laughs> and I'm a huge nerd because I think it's really entertaining. And the guy says, <coughs> Lehrbücher über die deutsche Sprache gibt es viele, aber nur wenige davon werden freiwillig gelesen. Das, uh, das heißt, that means that <coughs> there are many like books that teach about the German language, but not very many of them are read voluntarily. This is one of the ones that is, or the only one. It has answers to pressing questions such as die Nutella oder das Nutella. And trust me, that is a big, big debate point in Germany. No one can agree on that at all. We also got Kein Ohrhasen. I'm trying to build up a small collection of German DVDs so that when I go back to the US I can like still hear German sometimes. I know it seems like really risky to buy a DVD at a flea market, but it works, thankfully. Picked up this is cool coaster from Die Piratenpartei. I got a button for them. I put it on my bag because I thought it was really cool. Denk selbst, sei kein Mitläufer. You want to be the orange sheep. All their stuff was orange that they had, and they even had orange tulips, and they gave me one, which was really nice because I was like, wow, cool, pirate party. We went to this mall, and it, like, died because I had been carrying it around all day and put, didn't put it in any water, so Andrew and I just kind of stuck it in a flower arrangement outside of a shoe store. We also hit up this other like shopping center, which basically was a big mall. Um, it had the longest escalator in Germany. On the bottom it didn't look that big, and then you got to the top and you're like, whoa, I've been on this for a long time. And on the way back down, we were walking past Hollister. Yes, there's Hollister in Germany, but I don't know, there's probably like a couple of stores in the whole country. And this was evident from the fact that there was a huge line just to get into the store. Um, having been into Hollister once in my life, I guess I can understand that because it was kind of like dark and scary inside and I can imagine if there were too many people in there, it would probably start a stampede of some sort. So good for you Hollister for being responsible and making people wait in a huge line to look at your overpriced clothing. And we were walking past there and <laughs> ran into two other Americans because Sorrel heard one of them saying to the other, like, I can't believe there's such a big to-do about Hollister here. And we were standing in front of the Hollister, like, having this huge conversation in English about how 
crazy it is that people wait in line that long for Hollister. And they were like university students. It was really funny to run into them and entertaining conversation. We also saw a little bit of culture in Frankfurt. I have to say, I liked the city. I heard so much before I went there about how ugly it is. The first time before I went to Germany, like we ran into an old friend of my dad's on the street in Brooklyn and he was like, oh, your kid's going to Germany. That's great. Like I can give you advice. And he told me to eat dinner, of course and not to go to Frankfurt because it's so ugly. Like, I don't even know, but I liked it. Um, they have a river there, it's called the Main. That's why the city, city is called Frankfurt on Main. And an old church called the Dome, but it's not like the Kölner Dome. Sorry, Frankfurt, but I think we got you beat on that one. It had like old buildings and new buildings and it was kind of cool juxtaposition thing going on there. Plus the river was really nice. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of my trip to Frankfurt because I left Fritz at home. Fritz is my camera. Long story. I don't normally name my possessions, but his name is Fritz. Um, anyway, rest assured, my friends are all smashingly gorgeous people. And we had a really good time. So, wish you all well. So long. Wow, I look washed out.